currently in Carnarvon and we've come out for a bit of an exploration. We've come to the Cactus Gardens. There is a whalebone right here at the front. Pretty spiky, aren't they? This is the coolest cactus garden I've ever seen. How cool. We've been driving through this um, lap, uh, it's like a grower's lap here in um, Carnarvon and we've come across Humpty Alexander Dumpty. Okay, so today we are heading out to the Quabba blowholes. So I'm just locking up um, some stuff here in the van before we head off and um, make our way. There's also a spot there called the aquarium. It's supposed to be a nice little sport, snorkeling spot. The only problem is the time that we're here, it um, is the tides aren't really um, massive, so they're all low, pretty low, even the high tides low. Uh, I've been told that the snorkeling, we might have to watch out and because we might cut ourselves on the reef. It is quite shallow, but we'll see what we can do. We'll go out there anyway, enjoy the day and make the most of it. We've come out to the um, iconic King Waves Kill sign here where everyone stops and has a photo. So we just did ours and now we're going to make our way to the blowholes and have a look. It is kind of windy so it's probably going to pick it up on this camera. But what do you do? That's the west coast for you. That is pretty powerful. We've come out to the aquarium, it's low tide, you can see that it looks really nice here, if it was high tide there is a lot of reef, it'd be awesome to snorkel at a high tide, but that's what we So it's our last day in Carnarvon and also Melbourne Cup Day, so we've got a bit of a spread going. It actually was Melbourne Cup Day. We forgot about the three hour time difference. And so <laughs> Melbourne Cup came and went, <laughs> but hence we're celebrating with a bit of uh, wine and something to eat anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's uh, some prawns, just some nibblies really. And we're looking forward to our next adventure further down the road. Hi there, we're on our way to Kalbarri and we've just stopped um, at Billabong Roadhouse, poured up, poured some fuel and we've pulled onto the side, there's a rest stop here to have some lunch. Um, we were going to buy some takeaway food but we thought, you know what, we feel crappy after it so we're just making some crackers with tomato, cheese and we were just saying how cool is it to have your house on wheels. Pull up anywhere, you've still got the same familiar things, you've got everything you need, your kitchen and all that and be able to cook up whatever you want or you know make sandwiches or crackers and stuff use your own utensils and then yeah. grab a cold beer out of the fridge and I'm drinking my cider on the road finish it is, it is after midday yeah it's, um just, <laughs> just anyway <laughs> and it's 35 degrees we're allowed exactly so cheers we're staying at the calvary tudor um caravan park I think that's how you pronounce it and we've just come out for a bit of a walk and we wanted to check out the beach here. Let's go. Cheers. Where are we? Oh, it's not, it's a video. It's a video? So we're at... Where's where the tavern? Calvary? Let's go one of the taverns in Calvary. Happy hour. Happy hour at the tavern. Um, Gosh, there's no name here. Calberry, no. 
We'll have to find out what it's called. So we figured out where we are. We're actually at the Calvary Motor Hotel. <laughs> so it's a little quiet at the moment. Um, it is still, what's the time? About 5.30, so there's probably people still at work. Um, I'd imagine it'd get busy. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. It means nothing to us. <laughs> so anyway, I'd imagine it'd get busier a little later. How's your wine? Wine's beautiful. The Sauvignon Blanc is mm, nice. <laughs> Happy Friday everybody. Well, it's Friday for us, but when you are watching this video, it'll be a Sunday. So, or any other day of the week, depends when you want to watch it. So today we're doing the Zed Bend River Trail Walk here at Kalbarri National Park. And we're taking you with us. So Rob literally just said then that this hike is a, a piece of piss. Didn't use those words. Yes, you did. No, I what did you use? I said it's pretty easy. No, he said what I said. So anyway, he's jinxed us, I reckon. I reckon it will get harder. Um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so we've started to descend on sort of like uneven stairs. Okay, shit's starting to get real now. Okay, so we're still coming down this gorge. So this is the thing with Kalbarri, if you like doing hikes, there's a few of them around here um, in the Kalbarri National Park. The time of year that we've come, because it is so hot, they've closed the loop, I think it's called the loop trail hike, which is a, I think it was an 8 or 9k return hike. They say that temperatures here where you're doing the hikes can um, exceed 50 degrees, so hence why they've closed that one down for the season. So this is the bottom of this pipe. You come down to this river. Expecting it to be a lot longer. Me too, that was really good. It was a quick walk, but this is really pretty. So this was pretty much it. We got down to the bottom, I had a dip. Um, it wasn't overly strenuous. They made it sound like it was going to be really hectic, but I suppose compared to some of the hikes that we've done, it's not too bad. It's all signposted. Great for a little dip in here. You can have some lunch, the morning tea. Better to get them done um, earlier in the morning before the heat really hits. And so now that we've seen this, we're going to attempt the second hike, which is supposed to be a longer one. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll give that one a go. So we just stopped. Had a break, had some water, and um, we've decided we're going to do now the four whales. Four whales. <laughs> we decided to do the four way track down to the bottom of the gorge. Um, so this is allowed to, what was it, two to three hours? It is getting quite hot I'm now, we're descending further down. We're not getting much breeze and you can see why they recommend you do these hikes early hours of the morning, not the middle of the day. So I almost made it without stacking it. We're literally <laughs> probably 200 metres away from our destination and I had a nice stack down these rocks. Lucky I only got away with the little graze on my hand and I fell on my side. So Seeing I hold the camera, no one recorded it. So this looks pretty cool. There's a deeper pool down here. So we're having a little dip in here. It is nice. So who's excited for the uh, the hike back now? Three k's in this faceless guy walk here.
just, um, I don't know, he was stayed up the other night watching cricket till God, some ungodly hour. So he's <laughs> and I'm not going to sit there in the van watching him sleep. So Davey and I hopped in the car and we've come out to Red Bluff um, Lookout. So we're just taking the walk out there. It's our last morning here in Kalbarri and we've semi-packed up our stuff and we've come out for a swim here at the Blue Holes which we've attempted to do several times since we've been here but the wind has just been relentless. So this is the first morning that it's actually calmer. So this is what the Blue Holes are all about here. Really nice. I'm standing here and there's all these puffer fish. Around my feet. Look at it all. <laughs> <laughs> They're very close. <laughs>